to the book of Proverbs. Those that's here tonight, and those that are watching my television, Proverbs chapter 30, and starting with verse number 11. Uh, if there's ever a time that we need a revival in America, I mean a true revival, uh, a, a shaking revival, that a salvation, Holy Ghost, baptized revival. It's now in this generation. And in the 30th chapter of the book of Proverbs, with the 11th verse, the writer says, There is a generation that curseth their father and doth not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not worse from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men. I want you to look at verse number 11, 12, 13, 14 at the first of four words, and that will be our text tonight. And I want to use for a subject, there is a generation. There is a message that I preached a long time ago, and I took it from Judge, or Judges chapter 2 and verse 10, where the Bible said, there arose another generation who knew not God, nor the works that he did for Israel. But did you not know that just when you flip the page in your Bible over and read the last chapter of the book of Joshua, or even the, or even the second chapter of the, or the, of the book of Judges, just right before he says in verse 10, there arose another generation. You'll find where the Bible said that the people of Joshua's generation served the Lord all the days of Joshua. And they saw the mighty works that God did for Israel. But then there arose just the turn of a page, and that was what my text was a long time ago. I talked about just the turn of a page. How that in one page of your Bible, you could find a generation that knew the works of God, knew the power of God, knew what it was to have a relationship with the God of Israel. But then just the turn of a page, it all changes. Everything changes. And now you find another generation, another one that has come up on the scene and these are uh, uh, these do not know the works of God they are a backslidden generation they are a say a sinful generation that serves Baal and Asherah the gods of, of, of that day and that time they begin to serve idol gods they begin to push away from the teachings of the of the elders and begin to clan and grab a hold of, of a newfound religion a homemade religion as I like to call it something that's just made up but you see there ain't but one way and that's his way Jesus said I am the way he said if you want to know the way I am that way and if you want to know the truth I am the truth and if you want to know life I am the life and he said I've come to give you life and that you might have it more abundantly and you see brother there ain't but one way Buddha can't get you to heaven Muhammad can't get you to heaven Krista can't get you to heaven come on somebody Louis Farrakhan can't get you to heaven Moonstar can't get you to heaven. Uh, Chemos can't get you to heaven. But Jesus Christ uh, and him crucified is the only way, the only truth and the only life. Would you praise him in this church house tonight? But it's beyond me how that in just a turn of a page how one generation can be raised to be in the, in the ways of God and then a turn of a page later it all changes. But sadly in America today in southwest Virginia today West Virginia today, there are people that is from another generation. We've got a generation that has seen the miracles of God. We've got a generation that knows what it is to have church. But now we've got another generation rising up in our land that knows not the ways of God. They don't. 
We say, but preacher, but God is moving in the land. But you know what? I see God blessing in the land, but I don't see no great moves of God. Because let me tell you something, when God moves and God blesses and God really sends revival, there will be a generation that will change. There will be a generation that will come forth, that will know the power of God, that will go forth in his name. They'll cast out devils. They'll speak with new tongues. Come on, somebody. I want to see that generation rise up in the United States of America and around the world. And, the, and every one of these four generations are in the land today. And this is the reason why we need a burden for revival. This is the reason why we need to pray and seek God and get to the house of God and get more of God so we can give others what we have. And brother, you find in verse 11 where the Bible said there is a generation that curseth their father and doth not bless their mother. You know what kind of generation that I see in that? I see a generation like God told Samuel of old as Samuel told Saul in the 15th chapter of the book of 1 Samuel and verse 23 he said that rebellion is as witchcraft and that rebellion come on I see a rebellious generation and the proverb said that there is a generation that curseth their father and they don't bless their mother brother we got a generation today in our land and brother it, I know it's all over the world but it's especially in, in the good old USA we've got a generation that is exactly like that they curse their mother and they don't bless their father they cuss and they curse their father and they cuss their mother and they're rebellious we've got a stage of young people today that is that's rebellious that, that they they rebel and that's the reason why that the prisons are running over and that's the reason why the courtrooms are running over it's not because somebody didn't pray it's because there's a spirit of rebellion that has been unleashed in the good old USA and it's time for the church that's sleeping giant to awake and let's get rid of this spirit of rebellion before it destroys our young people and takes them to hell. There's many of you in this church house and there's hundreds of you watching my television. There's many of you, brother, that's got a spirit of rebellion in your home. You can't do anything with little Johnny because he's so rebellious. You can't do nothing with little old Ann because she's so rebellious. You know why? It's not because you didn't raise them right and it's not because the church didn't pray but there's a devil loose. There's a spirit loose. There's a devil that's trying to get on your children and it's causing a spirit of rebellion and that spirit has witchcraft and it's time for some moms and it's time for some grandmas and it's time for grandparents to rise up, take you a bottle of anointing oil, go through your house anoint their come on somebody, anoint their seats anoint their bed, anoint their car and say in Jesus name we're not going to let this spirit of rebellion rule our home in Jesus name somebody praise God in this church